and welcome to another day on Cornwall Pocket Farm where I try and figure out how to live sustainably on 300 square metres in the city. So as you can see it's evening and that's because I have to get this video out tomorrow and we are leaving uh, very early the next day. So I thought well I needed to get this video finished and this is all the time I have. So of course I am now at the end of my capsule wardrobe for my trip. You are actually a couple of videos behind, so this next video, the one you're going to see now, is the making of my cocoa trousers, my sort of um, beach pyjama palazzo sort of trousers that uh, I thought would be really nice to have. And um, after that, I did actually have a sort of a tops making weekend because I felt like, I think I, I said in the last video, didn't I, that I felt like I needed some more tops. So I had, a, I had a tops making weekend and I managed to make three tops. And then after that, I actually made a coat. <laughs> yeah, that's because the weather in Europe at the moment, according to the forecast, isn't actually that warm. It's, it's about the same as we get, we've got here in, in New Zealand winter and I was really concerned that I'm going to be cold. So I ended up making uh, a rain jacket, a raincoat as well. It's sort of a rain swing coat, if you like, <laughs> out of some um, nylon and lining that I had in my stash, sort of last minute thing, as you do, knock up a raincoat. So, <laughs> so those are the items that are completing my capsule wardrobe. And today I did actually spend a couple of hours actually putting everything on with everything and all of the combinations which actually took quite a lot of time. There are quite a lot of combinations. I haven't added it up but obviously when I make that video uh, we'll find out how many combinations I actually came up with. We've got a house sitter who's uh, coming tomorrow to look after Maggie, um, our little dog and the chickens and the house and everything so um, we're packing and getting ready and we'll head off and obviously there won't be any videos during that time so hopefully you'll bear with me and uh, just wait those five weeks and then the rest of my capsule wardrobe will come out on the videos. The video you're going to see now is the making of the cocoa trousers and uh, at the end of course there will be a reveal. Okay so this is the fabric for my pyjama trousers. Yesterday when um, I got back from Spotlight and the, the, the fabric was drying on the line I actually worked out the pattern for these or tried to work out the patterns for these so that um, that is just there so I'm going to try and lay them out. Now the pattern pieces are huge because what I have done is is I have these um, collotte patterns so I've got this one uh, which looks quite looks quite 80s to me that one and then I have this one which is definitely more of a, a sort of a 50s, 60s type of pattern. But they both have the same, they both have the same view, which is basically this, this skirt here, which is like um it's essentially collotte. It's a skirt, a divided skirt. And it yeah, it looks like a skirt, but it's sort of collotte. This pattern here has a similar, um, it's got this one which is more of a tennis skirt with pleats at the front but it's got this one here which is essentially the same thing which is a skirt that's divided into sort of collots with a dart here. So what I've done is I've taken these pattern pieces out and I've had a little look at it and essentially all they've done is sort of included an extra pleat on the front and the back just to sort of create that skirt front and then sort of the pleats inside. So what I did with my trouser pattern which I know fits me, I know works, I've actually just added in that extra pleat piece which was on here. It didn't look very complicated. I didn't want to use these patterns because of course all the other parts that fit me well on my trouser pattern that I've worked hard to get right wouldn't be right on here even though it's quite a loose fit it's it's safer I find to do something with my own block and take the information off there and put it onto my block so that's what I've done the other thing I think I'm going to do it's a thread all over me here the other thing I think I'm going to do is I don't think I'm going to do a waistband so these trousers that I'm I'm wearing at the moment these are the, the my trouser pattern in corduroy and it has uh, this sort of buckle back here. This is high-waisted, a high-waisted trouser and then that buckle sits about the waist. 
But what I'm thinking of doing on these ones is actually just bringing the trousers to the waistline, but still putting that buckle on, but putting it just a little bit lower. So not putting a waistband on it. That's my thought at the moment. I figure I can make them without the waistband, just planning to put, like this has got like a facing on it. So I use a um, sort of uh, fabric scraps that I have in my scraps box. And I've just done facings on here. So the plan with this one would be, again, to do facings on the inside or even just a sort of a grow grain um, edge like on the inside. Something like that, something really simple. But what I can do is I can make it without the waistband. And then once I've made them, if I think it really needs a waistband, then I can add one there later on. That's really quite simple to do. So got my pattern, got my fabric, it takes a lot of fabric because essentially what I'm making is a sort of a full length skirt and, and, and once you take into account the pleat and everything it's quite a wide skirt so it's using quite a lot of fabric but I did manage to get I think 2.9 meters at the uh, spotlight yesterday I was only looking for 2.5, 2.3 essentially would I felt would have done it but because there was that extra 30% off if you took the whole roll, why would I not take that extra half a meter just to have the extra 30% off? So I did. So I've got plenty of fabric. Fingers crossed, she said. It's about time, isn't it, really? I think at this point that I have got plenty of fabric for this. But we will see. This is actually taking up pretty much the whole width of the fabric, so I'm quite pleased about that because I'm getting the maximum I can out of this narrow width fabric. So this is one leg, you can see how wide it is, and then the other leg I'm going to put um, after this in, uh, in tandem. Yeah! <laughs> big, big wide trousers! <laughs> This is a bit deja vu. What I'm doing now is um, pinning the exact same pocket pieces that I did last time to the uh, front of the trousers. These trousers, the pocket situation is going to be exactly the same. The only difference is that the legs are much wider and I'm going to form a pleat down the centre. But all the pockets and everything are exactly the same. So I have overlocked all around the edges of all of the pieces because again I only have the one centimeter seam allowance on here. I thought about doing French seams but then I realized I would only got one centimeter of seam allowance so overlocky it was. Now I'm going to put the, um, what are these, are these the pocket linings? Could be the pocket linings, yes I think we'll call them pocket linings. So just put pinning and sewing on the pocket linings then of course I'll put on the um, the other piece of the pocket, the bit that you see up the top, exactly like I did with the last pair of trousers. Okay, I have pinned the just I've just pinned them onto the, my trousers that I'm wearing at the moment, but I've pinned them on. I've sort of got that pleat thing going at the front, and I I'm quite pleased with the way that they're looking. Actually, I've got the same top, same little pocket as normal but I've sort of got this deep pleat now before it goes into the trousers and they are extra wide. I've also done the same thing with the back. This is the back, obviously this will be on the back of me. These, I haven't put the darts in yet because I've got to, I want to do a, the little sort of strappy tie thing at the back. So I need to do that so I can put them into the darts. I'm just doing that at the moment, just using a little scrap of fabric to make those um, the, the sort of the buckle and the tab and the tie and all the rest of it that goes at the back. So I think it's sort of coming together. Um, yeah, that's the next piece I'm doing. I've got then got to stitch this in, do the darts, and then I can start to put it together and put the zip in and see how that looks. But yeah, very palazzo-y and I love the colour. I'll also need to obviously cut some interfacing for these pieces because they need to have a little bit of structure. Um, yeah, just so that it's sort of, they, they, they'll, they won't go floppy and look a bit meh. They need to have a bit of structure so that they'll sort of neatly uh, hold and go through the buckle. So uh, yeah, a bit of interfacing next, stick those together and then stitch these and then I can put them into the darts. Okay, I'm about to give up now. I've just been handed a beer. 
and I think that's enough. Have I managed to make two pairs of trousers uh, in one day? No, no I haven't. <laughs> but I have managed to do the back of these trousers and put on the, the, the sort of the buckle catch piece. Uh, and that's all done with the, with the pleat and everything are ready to get joined to the front. I've also managed to, I've also done the front part, so that is all completed with the pockets um, and the piece down the front that's ready to be joined to the back. So really all I've got to do now is I've got to stitch, well I say really all I've got to do now, what I've got to do now is insert the zip in the right hand side and finish that seam, do the seam on the other side and then stitch the inseam. Then I've got to decide with the top whether I actually do a waistband or whether I just turn it in and do a sort of a, a facing or something along those lines and then of course it's hemming. So I haven't completed two pairs of trousers but I think I'm pleased with where these are at. This pair of trousers, the first pair of trousers are over here, they just need the waistband putting on and the hemming. Uh, so I'm reasonably pleased with where that is as well. So on the whole I've got the most of two pairs of trousers put together. That's Maggie coming in to say hello. Are you coming in to say hello? Yes. What is it? It's time to come out isn't it? Yes it is. I'm coming now. Can you come up? Okay. So Maggie's saying come out of your sewing room now. It's time. <laughs> it's time and I want you to come out of your sewing room. Is that what you're saying? Come out of your sewing room now. It's time. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm going to call it quits for tonight. I haven't done the inseam yet. I've literally just sort of done the side seams and the darts and pockets and also I have the belt piece on the back. I don't know if you can see that. I think, yeah, I'm quite pleased with the way it's looking. It's, it's quite culotte, which is nice. Uh, so it looks like a sort of a long skirt. I think, yeah, sort of like a long skirt. Obviously when the inseam is in there it'll be a little less baggy. But yeah, I think that's looking quite nice. Um, I, ha I think I'm going to need a waistband because these pleats at the front, obviously there's a big pleat in here, that's got quite a lot of weight on it. And so I think I'm going to need a waistband to hold that up. But yeah, so far happy with how this is hanging. I think I'll do the inseam now uh, and make it into a pair of trousers. Okay, I'm pretty happy with these uh, beach pyjamas now. Quite pleased. I've got a little bit, I've put the waistband on, but there's a few little places where it's not sitting quite right. And um, I also need to do the hand stitching on the inside, the catch of course, and the, uh, the hem. But that now I'm moving into evening work because that's sort of fiddling about with little things. Um, I have the waistband on and it's sort of, it's stitched on and pinned so I need hand stitching on the inside. However, when I put it on, there's a little bit of wrinkling on the side here, uh, on both sides. So I think what's happened is that when I... Um, when I've cut the pattern down, with this being such a fine fabric, there's just a little bit too much fabric on this, like the, the pattern piece maybe has come up just a little bit too much on that curve. So I just need to unstitch that and drop that down a little bit to take, to get rid of that sort of slight wrinkling. I mean, it's minor, it's absolutely minor, but I notice it and because I'm at this stage now, it's pretty easy just to unpick that and just stitch it on a little bit lower. So that's what I'm going to do. This, I'm literally just going to stitch it in maybe like three mils down, but just a tiny bit. I think it'll make a difference. 
And then my daughter very kindly hemmed the bottom for me. Oh, this sun is a pain. You can't really see very easily. This time of day, the sun comes in. But anyway, my daughter has uh, pinned the bottom for me. So I just need to basically um, sort out, cut and trim and do all the hem and stitch the hem. And then these trousers will be finished and ready to go. Well, that was the making of the Coco trousers. I hope you enjoyed those. I'm quite pleased with them, I must say. I think they're quite elegant and I think that they're going to be quite useful for sort of more evening wear. Like if I go out in the evening, I think they look quite nice. They look like a long, a long skirt, I think, which is rather nice. And of course now I'm going on my trip. So uh, yeah, there will be a break in broadcast for about five or six weeks while I'm away. Um, hopefully you'll bear with me and stay tuned and subscribe and like and do all those things. And then when I come back, I will be putting out the uh, the remainder of the capsule wardrobe videos, though that tops video, the uh, making of the coat, um, there will be also the everything with everything video and of course when I come back I will do a bit of a review of the capsule wardrobe and, and how well it functioned on my trip. I'm hoping to take some photographs while I'm away. Um, whether I'll manage to do a sort of um, everything I wore every day video I don't know um, but we will see. There will certainly be some photos of me and my outfits because I've realised that um, I'm only taking the things that I have made. My wardrobe will be completely me made apart from underwear and shoes and accessories. Yeah, everything I'm taking is me made, <laughs> which is pretty exciting. And I was so pleased because I sort of set myself that challenge and yeah, I've achieved it. And when I added up at last count, I actually made, I think it's 16 or 17 pieces of clothing for this capsule wardrobe. So yeah, I will do a review when I come back and show you um, and tell you all about how well it went and uh, yeah, make you all jealous of my wonderful holiday. Hopefully, fingers crossed, everything goes to plan. And um, yeah, well, I will see you in about six weeks. Bye. Mm -hmm.